Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Windows computer is shutting down after a USB device is plugged into it. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing, try a different USB port. So if you're plugging into one port, try plugging in your external media device into a different port and see if it's an issue with the port itself or if every port you plug something into it's coming across the same issue. Something else we can try here as well would be if we open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best result, check them back with troubleshoot settings, go ahead and open that up. Select other troubleshooters and go ahead and left click on that. Underneath other, scroll down and select power and then the run option next to it. And if it was able to find anything, it should hopefully be able to correct it right there. You can also close out of here, open up the search menu again, type in device manager, best result, should come back with device manager, go ahead and open that up. Expand the universal serial bus controllers, and then for all the USB root hub devices in here, or anything that says USB root hub or generic USB hub, right click on it and update driver, browse my computer for drivers, and then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and select the generic one that applies unless there's a more specific manufacturer one in which case you can go with that one which would probably be recommended however if there's only one you go with the option that it gives you so again you would do the same thing for for these other USB devices here And once it's done, select close, close out of here, open up the search menu and type in CMD, best result, check them back with command prompt, right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go. Hopefully that was able to resolve your issue and hopefully your USB devices should be working properly and they shouldn't have that adverse effect when you're plugging them into your computer anymore. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.